Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for what do they secretly want to tell you? And I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sh subscribing, and thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your all of your support. And also, my beautiful darlings, if you're a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second channel. It's called JWZ Mysteries, and all the information is in the description, a box below. So what are we going to talk about today? And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. We're going to be talking about what do they secretly want to tell you? We're going to talk about some advice and stick with me till the end. I'm going to do a yes or no question for you guys, whatever that is that you want to know. All right. So what does Leo's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what does Leo's love interest secretly want to tell Leo's? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's throw a couple cards down here. We got the Page of Pentacles. We got the Wheel of Fortune. We got the Queen of Wands. I'm also going to pull a couple of these cards as well. What does Leo's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what does Leo's love interest secretly want to tell Leo's? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's put that aside. And also these intuitive cards. So far I can see that they really want to water this opportunity. They want to go in the direction of something serious here. They want to give you some kind of good news. They want to tell you that they are really excited about how this, this is going. That there's a, a real strong attraction here and that they're really fascinated by this and that they get the sense that you have a lot of options though. They get the sense that you're, you're definitely attract a lot of people towards you. You light up the room when you walk in. This person's hoping that somehow they can capture your heart. I hear a plane. I always go by omens as well. Planes represent travel, movement, change, possibly traveling towards you. What does uh, Leo's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what does Leo's love interest secretly want to tell Leo's? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. You're the answer to their prayers. They definitely, and there you go, it's interesting. I was just feeling that because I was looking at this. I was drawn to this, right? They want to water this, you know, they want to give to this connection. And then here we go, the jug again there. Lighthearted, carefree time. Yeah. I get the sense that this person's like highly emotional about it. Uh, Looks like they uh, really do want to make sure there's an equal give and take in this situation. I get this sense this person wants to break free from this or a lot has grown out of nothing, I feel like. Um, I see. They are concerned about heartache over you. They're definitely concerned about heartache over you and getting hurt. Let's go further. Yeah, they got jealousy. They're a little bit jealous here, okay? They're not telling you that. They're really jealous. They're keeping it to themselves. Um, but definitely, there's a jealous factor here, okay? And the, they're not telling you about it. See, heartache over what they're concerned. They may, ha they may have heartache over this situation and may no longer have you. So. There's concerns about some unseen things here uh, when it comes to the connection. They really want an equal give and take. I get the sense. I, I get the sense that they want, you know, I get the sense that when they're around you, you really, um, you're really alluring to them. You um, are really attract them. And uh, they're hesitant to give you all of their heart. 
So they've been kind of controlling that. That's what I feel like until they find out with time. Because for them, timing is playing a factor here. They're really playing, uh, paying close attention to that. Okay, uh, because they do know that you're very attractive, and uh, that you have a lot of people that are interested in you. You have options. Yeah, they're definitely unsettled, and uh, they're trying to plan ahead here, but they they're very cautious about it and offering their heart. Yeah. So they want some kind of good news for something long-term here in the connection, okay? Uh, but, and they see that there's a lot of growth here, okay? They get the sense of the timing is right, you know, things can align for them, but they are concerned about the unseen factor here because they are feeling like you have a lot of options and choices and really concerns them when it comes to long-term planning and offering uh, something serious here, okay? So let's keep going. Another layer here. Yep, Six of Pentacles is exactly what I felt. So it's like they want to make sure that, you know, that if they give their heart, they give emotions, they put emotions into it, that you're also going to, and that, you know, you're not going to give your emotions or heart to someone else, that there's going to be an equal give and take here. Yeah, they want to make sure there's some kind of good news, there's some kind of movement here in the connection and they're hiding this from you. They're not telling you this. They're not telling you this. They're masking that. Let's keep going here. This person really wants some kind of order, structure, wants to make some kind of power move, wants to gain some kind of control here around this connection. Um, yeah, they want a sense of routine here with Emperor card energy. And also, they're really concerned about time and structure and, um, you know, having things organized in a certain way, okay? Let's go further on this. Because this person's like, you have value, you have worth to me, okay? You're a gem to me. But... They're concerned that you may be hiding the fact that maybe you have someone else, all okay? right? Uh, they want to keep this to themselves in their head because they feel like if you knew what their uh, self-doubt was around the connection, it would end the connection or it would hurt them and harm them somehow. Okay. Let's keep going. They're strongly attached to you with the devil card energy. They have very strong desires for this connection, uh, they don't want to let you go. Um, so I get the sense they cherry pick what they say to you. Yep, casket here. Someone's going, see, they're concerned that you're going to go out of their life. Because of people, we see the village card coming out. It's because of people. Your person knows you have options. There we go, Seven of Cups energy coming out again. And there's a warning for them. They feel like they're warning that there's a problem in the near future because of the fact that there's a lot of options and choices. And so they're keeping it to themselves. They feel like it's in the shadows there. King of Pentacles shows me that they want to know that this is stable, that this is a solid situation with the King of Pentacles energy. And that they're worried over nothing. Because they're like, is this connection a dead end for them? Uh, we see, or just a friend. You're going to be more than just friends. We're just going to go go out. You know, we're going to be more than just going out. Or a friend is a friend going to stab them in the back? You know, their fear. They have a lot of fear and worry about some kind of sabotage here, and uh, some kind of. Uh, Things shaping in the wrong way with the shape paper card. Let's see what else. What does Leo's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what does Leo's love interest secretly want to tell Leo? What do they secretly want to tell them they haven't told them? Show my cards they need to see. 
show me the cards I need. Two. Let's see. Yeah, you can look at that. They're lacking the courage, current, courage and confidence. They're trying to be very inspirational in this, but confidence is an issue for this person when it comes to the connection. It's like you're very inspirational to other people. You know, you're you're um, you're out there and you talk and you speak and you you're uh, you know how to present yourself and a lot of people admire that about you. And um, this person just is wanting confidence and courage in the connection. They feel like you're a lot of fun to be around. It's a very happy situation. They want to be more than just friends because they feel like you are their true love come true. Okay, so let's get you guys some advice here. Okay. Can I have some advice for my Leos when it comes to their love connection for the highest, best good, for the best outcome for them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Your advice, I, I feel spirit saying, be real about your intentions. Like, so, you know, set your intentions with this person. Let your person know that about your intentions of the connection. And show them by investing time because they're saying patience is a virtue. And stay in the place of joy. That's all you really need to do here, okay? So let's ask a yes or no question for you guys. Can I have a yes or no question when it comes to Leos for their highest, best good, for the best, po well, whatever their question is, spirit. Positive card for yes, negative card for no. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two, see, yes. Okay, so the answer is yes. All right, my beautiful Leos, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another date or two. And yes, I read my comments, guys, so I do love hearing from you. If you claim this reading, if this reading resonates with you, if you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me in the comments below, I would love to hear from you guys. I love you guys so much. And there's multiple readings you guys to go check out right now. I got the weeklies up there, the mid-monthlies, the monthlies. Uh, you know, I got um, 2023 single reads, if you guys want to know about that. I also have, um, you know, and those have um, career and finance, excuse me, love and career and finance. And also my darlings, um, yeah, their true feelings, their true intentions. There's multiple reads for you guys to go check out right now. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.